Hi, I'm Elizabeth Woods. I'm a nurse educator with the MMLearn.org Training Institute. And today we're going to be bringing you a presentation that we're calling A Dose of Your Own Medicine. And we're going to be looking at the latest in pillbox technology. As we all know, it's really important that medications are taken at the right time and in the right amounts. And not taking medications as they're prescribed can really have some serious consequences. When you look at the statistics on medication non-adherence, which is kind of a big and fancy way of describing not taking medications as they're prescribed, it's hard to argue that this isn't a big problem. There are lots of statistics out there that can describe how big of a problem this is, but the two that we want you to know is that one in two patients don't take their medications as prescribed. So that's 50% of people aren't taking their medications the way that the doctor wants them to. And this um, can really lead to some poor health outcomes and increased medical costs. And the other statistic that we want you to know is that one of the biggest reasons why people are admitted to nursing homes is they can't man manage their medications at home. Being able to remain independent at home really depends on being able to take your medications correctly. And people with chronic health problems often have many medications to take and they may have to take them at various times throughout the day. And doing it correctly might seem simple, but it can really be a challenge for some people. So we're going to look at some devices today that we hope might be able to help you or someone you care for be able to take your medications correctly. Um, we'll start with those that are kind of the most simple and move through to technology-enabled pillboxes that are um, able to track your medication compliance and also able to send reminders to you or to your family members or to a caregiver if you don't take medications when you're supposed to. All of the devices that we're going to present today are ones that we found to have good customer reviews and um, we've added links to um, those that have instructional or informational videos or brochures and in some cases we found blog articles about some of the devices that we're going to present and all of the links and links to ordering information are available um, by clicking on the download slides button which you'll find in the video uh, right below the video player on the web page. Okay so now we're actually getting into the devices that we're going to discuss today and the first type that we're going to look at is the basic pillbox and it's probably what most of you think of when you uh, think of a pillbox. For these to work a patient or a caregiver needs to know what day and time it is so that they know and administer the correct medication at the correct time. Whoever is opening the box needs to be able to have the fine motor skills or the dexterity to be able to open a specific compartment of the pillbox and then they need to be able to take the medications that are removed from that compartment. Basically for this option to work the patient or caregiver needs to know when to open the box, uh, they need to know and be able how to open the correct compartment and they need to know what to do with the medications once they get them out of the box. None of the pillboxes that we're going to talk about today are going to do you any good if the patient gets the medications out of them and doesn't actually take or swallow the pills. So for these to work, the patient has to know that when they take the medications out of the box, they have to be able to put them in their mouth and swallow them. Again, uh, the method behind this type of pillbox is that somebody who's cognitively intact, whether that's the patient or the caregiver, is going to preload the pillbox and then the medications are taken from the pillbox at the right time and taken by the patient. These types of devices are unlocked devices, meaning that the patient has access to all of the medications at one time. Um, so we'll look at some locked boxes later in the presentation where the patient only has access to one dose at a time, but for these pill boxes here in this first option, these um, are unlocked and the patient can open any of the boxes at any time. And these are also not monitored. The first one we're going to look at is a twice a day pill box. It has separate compartments for morning and night for each day of the week, so it has 14 separate compartments. Morning and night are going to be color coded to help the patient choose the right dose. And this particular pill box has small buttons on the side so that you push the button to open the lid instead of uh, prying it open with your fingers. So this might be a good option for somebody who has limited dexterity in their hands. Pushing a button might be easier for them. The second one is also a twice a day option which is also color coded for morning and night. And in this model, you can see that each day is a separate pill box. Um, with two compartments and it's held in a labeled plastic base or holder. Uh, the third one is a three times a day pillbox. 
It has 21 compartments that can hold medications for up to three times a day and can be preloaded for one week at a time. And just like the previous two, this one is also color coded for time of day and this one has morning, noon and night spaces. Uh, this next one is a pill organizer that has a separate pill box for each day of the week, each with four compartments for morning, noon, evening, and bedtime. This one is a little bit different from the others that we've looked at because each day is a different color and the doses aren't color coded by the time of day like the ones we've looked at previously. This one is also considered a travel friendly pill organizer because each day's pill box slips down into the larger plastic container so there's no chance of the lids popping open and medication spilling out during travel. This is also a four times a day pill organizer and this one has a, also has a separate daily pill box with four compartments for each day. Um, but this one can be preloaded for a month at a time. It has spaces in the larger pill organizer for 31 pill boxes. Uh, the compartments on this particular model are labeled for morning breakfast, noon lunch, evening supper, and night bedtime. The base that holds the boxes for each day has a designated place in the front so you can set out your pill box for the day. And each of the boxes has a red end and a green end. Having the green end facing up in the organizer indicates that the box is loaded with the medications and ready to be administered. And then the directions recommend that you put the box back into the holder with the red end facing up so that you know which boxes are full and which are empty. Now we're going to move on to option two and the second type of device that we're going to look at um, really is a, not a pillbox but it's a separate reminder device that can be used with a pillbox that um, can help you remember to take your medications. These may be good for someone who needs a reminder to take their medication, but like the first option, they need to be able to go to their pillbox and know which compartment to open. And also, like we said before, they need to be able to take the medications once they remove them from the pillbox. Patients and caregivers using these separate reminder devices also need to remember why the alarm is going off and to know that it means that it's time to take or administer their medications. So this is going to be appropriate for somebody who knows when the alarm goes off that it's time to go to the pillbox and get their medications out. The method behind using a separate reminder device is similar to the first option that we discussed and that you're going to um, have the patient or caregiver preload the pillbox, but then they also have to preset and program the alarm on the reminder device so that the alarms go off at the times that the medications are due. The first reminder device that we're going to discuss is called the Reminder Rosie. For this reminder device, a family member or caregiver can record up to 25 voice reminders per day. And the nice thing about this device is that the voice reminders are recorded and delivered in a familiar voice. So this may be a really good option for somebody who has cognitive impairment who might not respond well to a pre-recorded or unfamiliar voice that they don't recognize. The Reminder Rosie will play the reminders at the scheduled time so the patients remember to take their medications and the patient can respond to the alarms with simple voice commands like Reminder Off or they can simply push down on the device to acknowledge that they're responding to the alarm. The second reminder device that we're going to look at is the smart speaker, the Amazon Echo. Other smart speakers may be able to do the same thing as this one, but we're presenting this one because we found an online review which specifically tested the Amazon Echo for the purpose of providing medication reminders to seniors with dementia. You can find a link to that article that we um, found in our research by downloading the slides for the presentation. To use the Amazon Echo as a medication reminder device, the patient or caregiver is going to ask Alexa to remind the patient to take medication at a certain time and then the device delivers the voice reminder at the requested time. The next device is the MedCenter Talking Alarm Clock. This one is going to alert patients when it's time to take their medications in a pre-recorded voice up to four times a day. And one of the nice things about this device is that you can include which dose to take when you set the alarm. So you, it can say take your morning medications or take your bedtime medications. So this might help the patient know which compartment of the pill box to open. The patient or caregiver is going to respond to the alarm by pushing the red alarm acknowledged button and then when they push that button the device will tell them when the next scheduled dose is going to be due. 
The alarm will sound until that red button is pressed and this does have loud and extra loud settings so the extra loud setting may be a good option for somebody with hearing impairment. The next one in this option is called the American Lifetime Clock and this clock spells out the day, the time of day, the time and the date in large and easy to read letters. This clock has the option that you can set up to five alarms per day and you can see on the slide that we have the options for what the pre-recorded medication reminders will say listed there on the slide and as you can see you can have the alarms correspond to the correct time on the pillbox so again this might help the patient know which compartment on their pillbox to open when the alarm goes off. Patients respond to the alarm on this device by pushing any button on the back of the clock and we have provided ordering information on the downloaded slides. The last device that we're going to look at in the second option of separate reminder devices is called the ePill KDEX 12 Alarm Watch. This watch provides up to 12 medication reminders per day and you can set preferences for medication reminders to come in any combination of beeping, text, or vibrating and then the watch will deliver those reminders once every three minutes um, when it's time to take medication until the patient pushes a button to confirm that the medication was taken. In addition to being a medication reminder device, this watch also has added features of being able to store medication information like the patient's name, phone number, and medical information. It can also put in emergency contact information, medications, or insurance information. So that's a nice feature that this watch has available. And we found an instructional video and um, we've also put links to order this watch on the downloaded slides. Now we're going to move into option three, which is an automated pillbox with a built-in alarm. And these types of devices may be good for patients who don't know what day and time it is, but who do know that the alarm means that it's time to take a medication. Patients using this type of device need to be able to know how to get the medications out of the pillbox, and also will need to know how and be able to swallow the pills after removing them. There are two different kinds of devices in um, this option and we're going to look at locked and unlocked devices. And We'll start with unlocked devices and the first one we're going to look at is called the MedCenter 31 Day Pill Organizer with Reminder System. And This is probably going to look familiar to you because this is the same pill box that we described in option one sold in combination with the separate alarm or reminder device that we described in option two. You can just order them all as one unit. Uh, I'll quickly go over the features again. Um, it's a pill box that you can preload for up to a month at a time. Each day has its own separate pill box with spaces for four dosing times per day. The alarm device can be set to deliver alerts up to four times a day reminding patients that it's time to take their medication and then the patient pushes a button on the top of the device to respond to the alarm. The second unlocked pill device is called the MedGlider Large Capacity Pill Box with Med Timer and this pillbox holds up to a week of medications with four daily dosing times, uh, morning, noon, evening, and bedtime. The patient or caregiver can program the reminder device with up to four alarms per day, and when it's time to take the medication, the alarm will beep, and the timer displays which pillbox the patient should take, and the patient can silence the alarm and reset it to go to the next alarm by pushing the stop button on top. The next unlocked option is the MedQ Smart Pill Reminder with Audible Alarm and Flashing LED, which has 14 compartments, making it able to hold two weeks of once daily medication or one week of twice daily medications. For this one, the patient or caregiver is going to pre-program the alarms and then the device will remind the patient to take the medication at the designated time uh, with a beeping alarm. And then this one has the feature that it has a flashing light that will light up in the specific compartment that the patient is supposed to open. So that might be helpful for some people. Additionally, this one advertises that it has oversized fingertip tabs to make the compartments easier to open. So this may be a good option for somebody with limited um, use of their hands. It might be easier for them to open than a traditional pillbox. And again, like with all of the devices that we've looked at today, the links to order and a link to an instructional video are on the downloaded slides. 
Uh, now we're going to move into a discussion of locked pill boxes, and these are going to be devices that will only dispense one dose of medication at a time. As you will see when we show you some of the examples of these, um, they're going to be a round carousel, typically with 28 compartments for medications. They come with dosage rings that help you set up the uh, number of times a day that you're going to have it deliver medications and the ones that we're going to look at can be set to give medications from one to six times per day. The patient or caregiver is going to program the device so that at the scheduled alarm time the carousel is going to advance to the next compartment and will alert the patient with an alarm or a light as a reminder. They all have different ways of delivering that alarm. All of the devices uh, that we're going to discuss here in this discussion of locked devices require that you have a key to unlock the device and load medications. The first of these devices that we're going to look at is called the GMS MedAlert 28-Day Automatic Pill Dispenser. Um, this one comes with two interchangeable lids. One is clear and one is white. The white lid is designed to offer privacy so that no one can see what medications are in the device or what medications might have been missed. And then the clear lid is one that might allow for better tracking of medication adherence so the patient or caregiver can just look down into the device and see which doses have been skipped or missed. This device has 28 medication compartments and the product information says that each one will hold up to 18 aspirin sized tablets. This one is battery powered and stored information uh, will be saved when you change the battery, so that's not something that you have to worry about. This device comes with six dosage rings that go under the lid and adjacent to each of the compartments on the carousel, and they'll, they're going to help you specify the time of day that each dose is scheduled. It can be programmed um, with alarms up to six times a day and the alarm will beep and a light will flash for up to 30 minutes at a time or until the medications have been dumped from the tray. For this device, the patient does not have to push any buttons to silence alarm. The way that they confirm the alarm and set it to go to the next dose is by turning it over and dumping the medications out. This device does have the option for a light to flash with the sound or you can have the sound alone or just the light alone. And there is only one sound setting on this dispenser. If the patient doesn't hear the alarm or misses a dose, that dose chamber will stay open until the next scheduled dosing time. And once it's time for the next dose, the carousel advances and then the patient will not have access to that missed dose of medications without a key to open the lid. This one comes with two keys when you order it, and as with all of the lock devices that we present today, the patient only has access to the current dose of medications, and you must have the key to load or unload the medications or have access to any missed doses. The second lock device is called the Live Fine Automatic Pill Dispenser, and this one can be ordered with either a clear lid or a white lid. It doesn't have the interchangeable lids like the one we just looked at. This one is uh, very similar in the first one that we looked at in that it has six dosage rings. It also has 28 separate pill compartments that will hold up to 18 aspirin sized pills. This one will sound an alarm and it also has a light that you can use with or without the alarm and that's going to go off for 30 minutes or until, or until the medications are dumped from the tray. This one is a little different from the first one in that it does have four different alarm tones to choose from. So um, it has louder options for somebody with hearing impairment. This is just like the last one, so if the patient misses a dose, that, dose, that dosing chamber stays open until the next scheduled dosing time, and it will advance once the next alarm goes off and the patient won't have access to the missed dose without a key. This device comes with one key when you order it, but you can order additional keys if you need them. The next one we're going to look at is called the MedReady Automatic Pill Dispenser. There are two different models of this device. One has a light and one does not. And unlike the previous two that we've discussed, this device only has the blue solid cover, so you don't have the option for a clear lid like you did for the first two. The link that we've given you on the downloaded slides allows you to select which model you purchase, and there are several online retailers who do offer this product. This particular dispenser has a door that covers the medication and the patient has to open and close the door to acknowledge the alarm and for the next alarm to sound. 
This one has 28 separate medication compartments, but unlike the first two, it only comes with four dosage rings instead of six, so this one can be programmed for medications up to four times a day. Another difference of this one is that you can choose how long the alarm will go off. You can set the alarm to beep for 30, 45, 60, or 120 minutes. And if the patient doesn't hear the alarm or misses a dose, the chamber stays open until the next scheduled dosing time. This one comes with two keys, and you can order additional keys. And this one has rechargeable batteries that um, when you plug in and charge the batteries fully, they can keep the device on for 48 hours before it has to be plugged in and recharged. The last one that we're going to look at for automated locked pill dispensers shows several options available from a company called ePill. And as you can see, there are several models available on this table, and the slide is going to show you the basic specifications and details for each one. The first one in the table, which is going to be in the first column on the left, is called the ePill Station. And this is a device that fits into a dispensing apparatus and allows a patient or caregiver to turn a crank to turn the device over and silence the alarm. And this dispenses the medication into a stainless steel cup at the bottom of the dispensing apparatus. And so this might be a good option for somebody who doesn't have uh, good dexterity or might not be able to turn the device over and dump the medications into their hands. The other three are going to work much like the previous devices that we've discussed and you can see the differences among each of these models here in the chart on the slide. And again we have um, information about where to order and a link to an instructional video on the downloadable slides. The last option that we're going to discuss today are monitored pill dispensers. And you might notice that the list of who this might be a good option for is the same as we discussed for option three, except for the last bullet point, that this is um, really a good option for somebody who needs an extra layer of monitoring with their pill box by a family or caregiver. These may be a good option for patients who do not have a caregiver or family member who lives close enough to come by regularly to look at and see what medications have been taken or missed because a lot of them are going to call the patient or family member and let them know that medications have been missed and then most of them are going to have online websites where the patient or family member can go to track the medication compliance. These devices are going to be connected either to the phone or internet and will monitor for medication adherence and notify a patient or the caregiver when an alarm doesn't receive a response. We're going to look at several options available including some that require a monthly subscription fee and some that don't. We'll start by looking at those that don't require a subscription fee and the first is called the ePill MedSmart Plus Monitored Automatic Pill Dispenser. Again, this is one that does not require a subscription, and when you purchase this device, it comes with free lifetime monitoring through an active phone line. It can be plugged into an existing landline, so no additional landline is required. This one is a lock dispenser like the ones that we just talked about, so the patient only has access to that one dose of medication at a time. Like the other non-monitored devices that we looked at, this one has 28 medication compartments, and the product description says that each will hold up to 20 aspirin sized tablets. It comes with two medication trays that can be preloaded, it comes with two lids, and it has two keys. This one also comes with six dosage rings, and so it can be programmed to sound up to six alarms per day. When the alarm on this one goes off, the alarm's gonna sound and the light will flash for up to 90 minutes before it turns off, but the device will notify a designated caregiver or family member by phone, email, or text to let that person know that the patient has missed a dose of medication. We've put a small picture on the slide of an example of what the text message would look like um, that would go to the family member or caregiver in the event that the patient didn't respond to the alarm on the dispenser. This device also provides family members and caregivers access to a secure website to see reports about the patient's medication adherence. Um, you can see what time doses were taken, you can see which doses have been skipped, and just get a good overall picture of how well the patient is taking their medications as they're prescribed. The last type of pillbox we're going to discuss today are those that are monitored and also require a subscription fee. 
The picture that you see on this slide are made by a company called MedMinder. And if you choose a MedMinder pill dispenser, there is no charge for the equipment, but they do charge a monthly subscription fee. This company makes both locked and unlocked pill dispensers, and as we've discussed with the other devices, the locked dispenser only allows access to one compartment at a time. For both the locked and unlocked devices, alarms are set to go off, and on this one, the um, correct individual medication compartment will light up when the dose is due so the patient knows exactly which compartment to open. Alarms can be set to blink or beep, or you can record a custom audio message on this device. So a family member could record a message saying something like, Dad, it's time for you to take your medications. And this might be a good option for somebody who can't remember that the beeping noise that they're hearing means that it's time to take their medicine, but they might be able to respond to their son or daughter's voice when they tell them it's time to take their medicine. On this one, if the alert is not acknowledged, uh, MedMinder is going to first call the patient to remind him or her to take the medicine, and then if they can't be reached, then MedMinder will call a family member or a caregiver, and all of the contact information are going to be set up through the MedMinder secure website. As with all of the ones we've talked about in this presentation today, the links to order and a link to an informational brochure is available when you download the slides um, by clicking on the download slides button. The last device that we're going to discuss in this presentation is called the MedReady pill dispenser. Uh, this is just like the device that we looked at in option three, but this one has an added monitoring feature. There are two different monitor dispensers that you can choose from. One is monitored from an active landline and has to be plugged into a phone jack, and the other is monitored through an internal cellular device, but the patient does not have to have a cell phone in order for the cellular monitor device to work. As we discussed earlier, these devices have 28 medication compartments and will dispense medications up to four times a day. They are locked devices, so the patient only has access to that current dose of medication and you have the option of choosing a device with a light or without a light that will flash when it's time to take medication. It comes with rechargeable batteries, a power cord, um, dosage rings for three or four times a day dosing, and two keys. For this one, just like the one we talked about before, the alarm is disabled and acknowledged by opening and closing the door over the medication compartment. Um, again, this one is monitored, so when the patient does not respond to an alarm, the device is going to notify a designated caregiver or family member um, with a text message, a phone call, or an email. Alarms and settings are programmed and changed on the device, but then they can also be updated and changed remotely through the company's secure website, making this a good option for um, a caregiver or a family member who might not live or be right near the patient. This is going to conclude our review of pillboxes and our presentation for today. I hope that this has been helpful and maybe has given you some options of ways that it might be easier for you or someone that you're caring for to take their medications the right way and at the right time. Um, remember that all of the devices that we've discussed today are available by clicking on the download slides button. Um, it'll open up a document with the slides in it and it will have links in that that you can click on to find where to order or any information that we've uh, found on those devices. We do always appreciate your feedback so please take a minute to complete the short survey by clicking on the take our survey button that you see below the video player and if you have a minute we would love for you to take some time to browse our library and look for other videos that we have that may be relevant and helpful for you or someone that you're caring for. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.